We're back in Cincinnati Garden. Moving on into freestyle. Our final event of the weekend at the Checkered Flag Productions Winter Nationals in the Gardens. Last chance to knock Eric Tech and the bad boy off his high horse. Dave Weibel coming out, attacking the van stack first off and kind of cross-threading the, the wheelie cars. Turn around and see if you can get a good pop on the wheelie. Yeah! That's a good hit. Especially as the cars begin to, to get a little more beaten down. It gets harder to, to get a good wheelie. And uh, Wapo got some good lift on that one. Got to come around to the, the big air ramp. First hit. Oh, no. Oh, no. Not a lot of lift. Oh, now he's hung up. Looks like he can... Okay, he's going to wind his way off of the car oh, I think wasting a lot of valuable time oh and he just that's the second time this weekend that he's just smeared the hazard pay cam we're gonna have to send him a bill for a new camera thanks to our Barton Motorsports hazard pay enclosure uh, luckily the camera seems to be doing okay so far screaming demon wasted a lot of time hung up on the the van stack there i think that'll cost him in the long run jay snyder coming out showing off his lights to the the crowd in the gardens and following that up by attacking the van stack see what he can do Jay Snyder and Illuminator out there working the floor of the Cincinnati Gardens. Jay's actually had a couple trucks in, in addition to Screaming Demon and Illuminator. At one point he had a 55 Cadillac hearse. Uh, some of you may have seen it around. It was a leaf spring truck. Uh, he ended up selling that to a, a company out in his area. This truck, just like the teammate truck, is also running a, a 540 Merlin. About 1,450, oh no! I'm saying 1,450 horsepower, but he just attacked that van stack uh, with the rear tires crabbing. Landed kind of hard on the front tire. Looks like he may be having some issues with some steering. Uh, that could be an issue. Uh, get, yeah, it looks like they're just going to leave him where he is and send Black Stallion out rather than trying to maneuver him back to his parking space. A good run for Jay Snyder in Illuminator. I'd say that's probably uh, top of the heap right now. Uh, Jimmy Tracy just got kind of hung up on that car stack. Really killing off a lot of the momentum here. He's going to have to pick it up if he's going to take that win. More hazard pay right there at the foot of the big air ramp. Kind of a neat angle. It's always cool to see the, the, the track view uh, where you can really get perspective for uh, the trucks going over the jumps and just really see an angle that you, you can't get with any normal camera or a manned camera. Jimmy Tracy kind of trying for uh, what Mike Waters is, has coined as the Saturday Night Special. Uh, going to take a little more practice, but uh, a neat gesture nonetheless. Uh, but Mike Waters is still the master of the reverser. Can you really do the Saturday Night Special on a Sunday afternoon? Uh, I, I don't think anyone's going to mind. It's always neat to see a great reverser. That looks like it's going to be all for... Jimmy Tracy and Black Stallion, though. I think uh, Jay Snyder's probably still got the lead there. Jimmy Tracy kind of struggled with some momentum. Uh, just seemed to have some issues. Uh, just seemed a little off there in freestyle. Eric Tack looking to sweep the competition in his second weekend in Bigfoot Bad Boy. really announced his presence nicely with a, a good wheelie over the, the big air ramp. 
space has gotten a little tough ma maneuvering down towards that van stack down on the end because uh, Illuminator with the steering issues couldn't get into his parking spot. So Eric Tax is going to be working with uh, some limited space out there, but we'll see what he can do. It doesn't look like it's hampering him so far. Cross threading. Nice move in a small arena. Never out of control or even uh, giving the resemblance of it, but uh, a nice move inside these tough dashers. Barely missing the hazard pay cam again. Tax got a great run, and that is a beautiful walking wheelie. I think that's the move of the night. I think Tack has sealed this one up. Uh, the crowd is surprised before, but uh, they've been pretty consistent this weekend. A couple uh, potentially questionable calls, but I don't think this one's going to be. Uh, there's going to be any shadow of a doubt on this one. Eric Tack punching on the binders, whipping the tail around just a little bit, keeping it inside the dashers. Going to go into a nice slow donut here. First time we've seen a donut tonight. And he's going to park it on the van stack and say, you know, I think I've got this one. Thanks for everything this weekend in Cincinnati. Eric Tack salutes the crowd. A great show all weekend long. Let's take a look back. Nice view of that wheelie from the Hazard Bay Cam. Oh, and yet again, a bad night for the Hazard Pay Cam. Yet another hit. Then this beautiful walking wheelie sealed it up. Eric Tack takes the freestyle victory in the Cincinnati Gardens. Well, that's all from the Checkered Flag Productions Monster Truck Winter Nationals in Cincinnati, Ohio at the Cincinnati Gardens. Eric Tack has stolen the show in the bad boy Bigfoot. Eric Tack sweeping all six events this weekend in the gardens. No rust on that guy. Jumped right back in the seat and was right at home. Phenomenal show all weekend long. In a couple weeks, Larry Swim is going to jump back in the seat and he's going to continue the path of destruction that Eric Tack has begun. That's all for the season premiere of Action Tracks. We've got a lot of great things coming up for you this year in 2011. We look forward to bringing those to you. Until next time, we'll see you then. Where's